What's up you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by Galadon Gaming. Clash Royale, we're talking about Clash Royale updates and new card concepts. Now, I get asked this just about every single day, whether it's on social media, in the comments, or on a, a live stream. People want to know what my ideas for new cards that should be, could be, would be added to Clash Royale. So, I finally sat down and on a recent plane ride came up with some ideas and I thought that I would present them to you here so that you could shoot them down. No, so that you could say terrible. No, you, you never know. These probably are just okay ideas, but there's five different cards that I thought of that might be fun to see in the game. And the first one is the force field. Okay, so the level 11, I'm going to show like the maxed out version of the force field card. It Now, first of all, I have to say, these cards, the statistics, the numbers, even the elixir count, not necessarily accurate on what it would be in the game. Those numbers are kind of arbitrary, but the actual idea for the spell or card itself, well, here we go. So the force field, the force field spell provides temporary invulnerability to all friendly units in its radius. Reduced effect on crown towers. May the force, well, you know. So that is kind of my humorous take on the description of the force field card. It would be this force field that you could deploy over your troops or your crown towers, obviously with reduced effect, at any point during the game, during the battle, that would give them that temporary protection. Force field wouldn't move, it would be stationary, it would be relatively small, so you couldn't protect a lot of troops with it. But one of those cards that I feel like it could really change the tempo of a battle with a well-placed force field saving a unit right when you need it most. So that is my first of five ideas. Again, I just feel like the game is ready for a little more diversity. We're seeing the same decks over and over and over again. It's either giant based or hog based type decks that we keep on seeing. And I'm experiencing them very much in both my free to play and my maxed out level account. So I'm ready for some new cards. And speaking of, here comes card idea number two, night and day. So it is kind of based upon the same fundamental as the Three Musketeers. It is a single card that deploys two knights, a black knight and a white knight, if you can see that in the picture. The idea is that there are two knights for the price of one. Maybe it's four elixir, maybe it's more or less, I don't know. But again, let's go with the description. Separated at birth, these two diverse knights have reunited to become a fearsome fighting duo. They become enraged if separated. So it would kind of have a little bit like what you see in the Baby Dragon in Clash of Clans, but even more so in that you would not want to let them get separated or take one out and leave the other on the battlefield because it would just become enraged and do so much more damage. Maybe it would change from a medium speed to a fast speed. That might be interesting. We could do that. Rather than having it do more damage, suddenly the speed goes from medium to very fast if night or day is separated from his brother. Just a thought, something different, the idea of adding new and different functionalities to the game, things we haven't seen before, really appeals to me, so let me know what you guys think of the night and day card. But when it came to thinking of new card ideas for Clash Royale, it seemed like I came up with more spell ideas than card ideas, uh, spells that would have new and different purposes, and this next one is one that I've talked about many times before in many different live streams that was the only idea I've had for a long time, and that is the smoke screen. Again, whether it's common, rare, epic, legendary, I don't really know. We will have a legendary card added, uh, okay, a legendary card idea later on in this episode, but for now let's talk about the level 13 smoke screen. And its description reads, Providing concealment, the smokescreen spell chokes and confuses opponents. Do not use an enclosed area, side effects may vary. Now I wanted to include a really long, like, medical side effects disclaimer like you see on TV. Uh, you know, may cause instant death and brain injury and decided not to do that. Wasn't room. But nonetheless, a smokescreen is an idea I've had for a long time. The problem with this smokescreen spell is the potential of it being extremely overpowering is possible. It would have to be a small radius and probably a very short duration. Uh, 4.3 probably way too long even at max level. Because the idea of having an area on the playing field that you can't see and what could happen is you could have opponents that drop a smoke screen and then drop another unit inside the smoke screen. So it gives a unit a couple of extra spaces, even if it only had a three tile radius. 
Imagine dropping a smokescreen and then dropping something like a mini P.E.K.K.A. and with a perfect placement of the smokescreen, you're basically giving that mini P.E.K.K.A. a two or three tile lead to get in. Obviously, maybe sound effects would become way more important when you hear HOG RIDER or pancakes or whatever it is, you would know. So again, it would add another critical wrinkle into the game. Suddenly now you'd really have to worry about sounds. You need to know your sounds because if somebody dropped a unit within a smoke screen, if you weren't recognizing what unit it was, you could be in a world of hurt. So out of my new card ideas, that's probably my favorite as far as spells, the uh, smoke screen. I definitely like the night and day as far as troops for new ideas, but I've got a couple of other ones. And speaking of being in a world of hurt, imagine dropping this on your opponent, none other than the level 8 Volcnado spell. And let's get right into the description. When a tornado meets a volcano, the volcano inflicts severe damage to all troops and structures in a wide radius. You'll love the way it lies. Yes, the Volcnado, with this spell you can definitely just stand there and watch them burn. You will feel like Superman with the wind at your back. You can watch those units leave out the window. Guess that's why they call it window pane. All right, sorry about that, you guys. Let's move on to the last, the final suggestion of new cards to come to Clash Royale, and that would be my legendary suggestion. Now, usually I don't suggest that any cards should cross over, say, from Clash of Clans to Clash Royale, or from Royale to Clash of Clans, but in this case, I went with a variation for none other than the legendary Warden. And here he is in all of his glory, the level 5 maxed out Warden. Again, a concept of what he would look like for Elixir. Let's go ahead and read his description. He may not be grand, but he still packs a punch. The Warden provides support through both a protective shield and his trusty staff. So the Warden, he kind of would have some of the similar abilities to the Grand Warden in Clash of Clans in that when you drop him, he will provide that buff to all of the units that are within his aura. And uh, so that constant passive ability would always be there. Maybe there would not be an active ability, although maybe that's an idea of something that could be added to the game in the future. What if some of the cards had active abilities that you could trigger after the card's already been dropped. That might kind of get things too complicated, but it's just an idea. So here the Warden, not quite as big and powerful as the Grand Warden. Maybe it's because he has lost that ability. He just has the passive ability, and then he also does ranged damage using his staff, and I'm thinking probably similar to Clash of Clans, it wouldn't be a great deal of damage he would do, but it would be some. It would be enough that would make him a force to be reckoned with, either with or without that aura affecting other units. Kind of similar to the way a Rage spell works, instead this would just give extra hit points to the units that are within that radius. So there you go you guys, those are my five card ideas that I've come up with and the uh, art concepts for them. Again, the numbers are kind of arbitrary, it's not exactly uh, what they would be in the actual game. You know, the balancing again, and that's the thing where it's so easy for us to sit here and go, oh they need to add this card or that card, or change this card, buff this card, nerf that card. The problem is, there is so much that goes into calculating that, and so much could be changed by just the addition of one card or nerfing one card. It affects so many other cards, and so that's why I'm excited to see the coming changes to the game. Hopefully, additions of new cards, hopefully easier to get legendaries for free-to-play players, and of course, I'm definitely looking forward to the idea of a big change coming to tournaments and you guys know you can count on me as your tournament king continuing to broadcast probably the most tournaments of any YouTuber live streamer on Mob Crush. And if you haven't already, please do take a moment to check them out. You can download the app for free right here. Here is the URL. You can follow me also free and then you can get notified when I am holding tournaments. And lately it's been almost every single day tournaments for two, four, six hundred, eight hundred, a thousand people, sometimes thousands of people. I have three tournament qualified accounts in Clash Royale, working on a fourth, but it's free to play so it might get there a while. That's this account right here, Gala Don't Gem. And so at that point, I'll be able to run four tournaments concurrently and the goal always getting every single person in that wants to participate in a Clash Royale tournament. As always, you guys, thank you so much for listening to my 
bizarre and sometimes strange ideas. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Would these work? Do you have better ideas? Maybe I will put them in a future video. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Please do hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for daily Clash content. And of course, I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Your ideas are terrible! Those are awful! Right, okay Peter, you have better ones? Well, of course, I- Besides the Peter card? I- That's what I thought.